Hello everyone, we're going to go over a couple of examples from the mid-chapter review, chapter 7. I'm going to go over question number 3, uh, parts A and B, as well as question number 8. So question number 3 asks us to state the number of x-intercepts, the y-intercept, the n-behavior, domain, and range for each function without graphing the function. Uh, we are going to sketch a graph, but we're going to do it at the very end. We'll also state whether the function is increasing or decreasing. Okay. So, as with every exponential function, the number of x-intercepts will be 0 or none. The y-intercept is going to be equal to the a value. In this case, the a value is 5, so the y-intercept will be 5. The end behavior will always be from quadrant 2 to quadrant 1. The domain will be all real numbers. The range will be positive, so y will be greater than 0. And finally, in this case, b is greater than 1, so we'll have an increasing function. And the graph of this would be something that looks like that. Here's our y-intercept. Please do uh, label that on a quiz or a test. And in this case, we have 0, 5. On to part B. Once again, the number of x-intercepts will be 0 or none. The y-intercept will once again be the a value. In this case, the a value is 90, so the y-intercept will be 90. The end behavior will still be quadrant 2 to quadrant 1. The domain will be all real numbers. The range will be positive. And this time, if you notice, the b value will be between 0 and 1. So we have a decreasing function. Okay, so once again, you do want to mark your um, y-intercept, in this case, 0, 90. Your graph does not need to be uh, to scale, so you can have something that looks like that. And that will be sufficient. Moving on to number 8. Number 8 is asking... Uh, about Kevin, who purchased his favorite hockey card for $8 in 2005. He's been tracking the value of the hockey card every year since he bought it. And here are the years and the value of the card. So the first thing we need to do is to determine the equation of exponential regression to model the situation. And then we'll find the approximate value of the card after 6 months and 30 months. Um, that's part B, uh, 1 and 3. And finally, I just threw in this bonus part here, uh, C, in what year is the value at least $370? Um, that is when you're given the Y value and you want to find the X value. So we're going to try that as well. So the first thing that you need to do and do is to go to Stat, Edit, and you can see that I've inputted all the numbers there for you already. And then you will go to Window. And make sure that everything can fit inside a window. Now, we'll, we will be extrapolating a little bit. So I want my x max to be just higher than 5. So something around 8 or 10 will work. Uh, min is going to be 0. And then y min will be 0 and up to about 200. Um, that should work. So if you go to y equals, make sure plot 1 is highlighted. And that will make sure that you plot your points. Okay. After you've done that, you do want to calculate the... Um, exponential regression, so you go to stat, calculate, option number 0, so moving down, and then L1, oops, L1, comma, L2, press enter, and there's our um, equation of exponential regression, go to y equals, and you go to vars, number 5, statistics, move over to the EQ menu, and you want regression equation number one, so you press enter, and it will enter it for you, so you can graph, and it should go through all of the points. Okay. And it does, which is good. Now what we want to do is to 
make sure that we do answer the question and that is we are going to go ahead and write down the regression uh, equation for part A. So in this case we have y equals 7.628 that's our A value and our B value we'll write it as 1.743 and that will be to the x power. Okay. Uh, for question part B, we're going to calculate um, what's the value of the card after six months. And once again, six months is going to be half a year, so x is going to be equal to 0 0.5. And for 30 months, that is going to be um, two and a half years. Okay. So I go calculate value. I'm going to enter my 0 0.5 and see the value is about $10 and seven cents. Oh. And my value is $10 and seven cents. And if I let x equals 2.5, the value will be $30.56. Next part, we're going to find out what in what year is the value at least $370. So to do that, I'm going to enter a second um, y equals. In this case, it's going to be 370. I'm going to change my window as well. I'm going to change it so that y max is 400. That way I can see the horizontal line that I draw. So we just need to go ahead and calculate what the intersect is going to be. So that's option number 5. And then you go first, sir, first curve, second curve, guess. Okay. And that will be approximately the seventh year. Okay. So that's the end of the questions. By the way, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it means a lot. So, yeah, thank you.